Hi guys, this is June because I was born in June and today's tutorial I'm going to teach you how you can set up the membership sites of using a Groove member in your Groove Platinum account. So let's dive into my windows. All right, so when you are first at your um, Groove funnels, what you need to do is just to go over to Groove member. Okay, so right now we are just going to start something as fresh. So just go over to contents, all right, and then click membership. All right, and then hit on new membership. So right now we are just going to name it as a um, um, roof platinum training. All right, so for those who have the platinum, you can actually check on that. And then the domain name, I will just write June groove platinum all right so create membership so once you click on that it's time to you you can actually include your sales page here but then right now i'm just going to click next oh yeah you must include it, right so i'm um, just assuming that my sales page is actually just uh, amazing groove funnels.com slash order all right if let's say you don't have any, you can just put anything. If let's say you still can't click next, most likely is that you are missing this HPPTS. All right, make sure this is in the beginning. Otherwise, uh, you won't be able to click save next. All right. So after that, just name your instructor. If let's say there is no name here, you just can create a new instructor. Just include your name over here. Just a instructor description. Deals closing coach and also include a photo choose a photo and click create okay so choose a photo oh. and hit on create okay so since i already created one i'm just going to select mine all right and then next thing if let's say you want you can also customize um your membership which includes your logo image uh let me choose my logo image which is this one Okay, and also feature image is like like an image of your course. So right now I'm just going to not um I haven't really designed my feature image, so I will just put it empty. And then whether you want to show progress bar, so progress bar it means that you want to show your uh, members whether how much progress they have made in the course so far. So you can enable or disable that. So right now I'm just going to click click save next. All right. So now I want you to open up the builder. Click here to open the membership builder in Groove Funnels okay so in this group group member can you guys see that this this one it's actually the logo that i input just now right so what you can do is that you can always uh just change the color so maybe black is not so nice so i'm just going to change another image of this logo you can always change back right i'm just going to choose a white background so that it looks nicer all right so if let's say when people click on it, I want it to be linked to my website. That is, uh, that's why I click here and link to my website, junlo.co and open in a new tab and click update. Right now it's a white color. Okay. So what I want to further uh, design is actually the categories. So what is in the membership is um, right now, um, group member is still in the beta mode. So that's why um, what you can see right now, it's quite a simple functions that we are, you're seeing, right? But the essence of the group mem group membership site is actually at the categories where you are able to like add categories. Let's say this is module one. Module one is about, all right, you can add it. All right. And then for category, you can even have subcategory. So let's just assume that this module one, I just want to have a, this subcategory is, let's say, uh, let us try. Okay. So I want to rename it. This one, it's how to link group let's say our first uh, tutorial is how to link group funnels with group mail okay so just rename it okay so right now i just want to build this page right okay what i want you to do is just go to elements okay this is a training course so of course i'm going to drag this over i'm just going to upload my videos to youtube and i'm going to grab a link so that's why just now i just grab a youtube if let's say you have a link is more like in a store in vimeo you can just drag in vimeo over there 
So let's just, uh, so right now I just want to configure this video. So what I'm going to do is that you need to include a YouTube video ID. Okay, let's hop on to my YouTube channel. So if let's say you guys haven't subscribed, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's called Jun Lo. So let's grab one of my YouTube videos. Okay, let's just assume that this is a tutorial video. Hey so guys, I want to hit on Jun share button. Brownie and Jun, this is hit my on crown. Share button, right? Welcome to my amazing life today. Okay, okay. When you hit on a share button, this is what you'll see. You'll see this whole link. But then what we want is the only the 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 item at the back. Can you guys see the from the UWL? All right. So let us copy the everything first, and then we are just going to paste here and the B just delete here. But delete the whole thing here. Okay. So uh, you can choose whether you want to enable autoplay or not. So I'm just allowing uh yeah them to play themselves that's why after i click update the video is here so of course no, um every time we're, that we are designing a course not only we have a videos available we also want to loop them to like maybe uh we want to bring them to another link right so you can actually include a solid button down here okay so let us move to the bottom okay so this button same thing as how you design a group pages you want to like oh um, join my YouTube channel okay and then link to and I want to link to my YouTube channel which is link.junlo.co join YouTube okay and then hit on update okay so you can actually spend your time in designing your courses just like that and you can even configure and uh, change the color um, so my color is always like this this color and also change the text um, you can have a bigger font size you can also change the text color all right everything you can just play around so after that what you need to do next uh, assume that you already add a lot of different categories like let me show you maybe this is called module 2 we add another categories and and other categories we are also going to add like let's say subcategory like you can be anything right Okay, so what you need to do is just to continue design the modules and then let's assume that everything you have designed is perfectly done. Uh, yep, and then we just hit on save and exit. Okay, so right now it's um, whether you want to enable for comments um, or you want to be able to must be approved by you. Okay, you must take this if let's say you want to moderate comments and whether you want to enable the comments, you can actually enable it. Okay. So click next. So access level is what kind of, uh, maybe you have different type of access level, like the basic access or restrictive access, right? You can always add your access level over here. So this is maybe called platinum access. Okay, hit on save. Then you can configure for platinum access, right? Um, maybe I only enable the platinum access, they are able to access like this, uh, module one and module two for those who have a level standard one they only have this like home access so you can just configure to whatever you want you can even add the level as to what you like and save and next so here is uh, right now currently are uh, having like three options the last option custom welcome email they are still in beta mode that's why right now it's not available as of you're watching this video so right now you can actually choose whether you want to send a default welcome message or you don't want to send welcome email to your customer so it means that essentially when they register in your funnel they will get the first email so anything it's all right i'm going to show you guys like what kind of default welcome email that group will send at this moment right now uh, groups still unable to let us customize the email so maybe you just you can only pick that okay so after that i'm going to click next and once you click next right you are going to have this two links so what is it regarding remember when we are doing the access level just now we have one standard one is called platinum where we enables our users to see even more kind of videos and trainings so this is actually the login link that you can pass to your clients or your or, 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 or your customers right so let's say this is a login link, a registration for standard. So let's try the standard. All right. So this is a link. I'm just going to create an account. So this one is June. I, I'm just calling it as June standard. Okay. So I'm just going to put my email. Hi, Junlao at gmail.com. Okay. Let me enter a password. 
and let me register this is a link that you're going to send to your client and just assume that your client actually registered that account right so this is what they are going to see remember there's actually a standard so that's why the standard one can only watch home but then they can't really go to module one and module two because it's, it was being locked okay so let's assume that right now i'm just going to give your clients or customer platinum access so let us try the platinum access i'm just going to have to use um, another email of mine okay i'm just going to use another email of mine to register for the platinum okay let us grab again this is platinum link copy on a new tab go to platinum okay so this is platinum so that you guys can see the difference another email of mine is called hello at junlo.co and this is i'm going to input my password and hit on register so right now i am accessing a platinum membership portal okay here's the difference when i'm in the platinum i'm able to go to the module one all right otherwise just now i was at a standard i couldn't even view her at all and because i enabled comments so someone is able to attach a comment comment here remember just now we also said that uh admin we as an admin we are we are able to set a moderation whether to approve a certain comments or not so that's why here is actually awaiting moderation all right so in order to check back the comments um yep you can actually go back to your groove and check on it okay so here that is one thing that is awaiting moderation because just now i left a comment just click on it and approve so let's just have a check here so this command will then become an approved command all right can you guys see that so i of course i can always delete that if let's say i do not want so currently this is uh what what is the uh, functions of the group members right now um and of course if let's say you are the users who are actually um registering an account via this uh, group funnel they are able to receive a link as well so this is what is going on for you to actually use the group member i hope this tutorial helped you guys a lot and if let's say really love this tutorial video and a step-by-step -step that i prepared for you guys for a group member and group funnel feel free to leave me some comments and likes uh, down below and also remember to actually um subscribe to my youtube channel um and this is my youtube channel and then you are able to follow through a lot of different tutorials out there that i prepare for you if let's say you want to join my youtube channel you can go to link.junlao.co slash join youtube all right so that's all so thank you so much for watching take care bye